Titan TV, and we're going to be reviewing them Cookie Falters. It's a music review, so... Yep, it's our first uh, real music review, and uh... That's what we do in our She's the music guy in the group. We got support from Adam here. I'm just here. Chilling. Chilling. Okay, so them them crooked vultures is a super group with Josh Holmes, um, Dave Grohl, Dave and Grohl John Paul John Jones. Paul Jones, some familiar names in there. Very familiar names. <laughs> if you're into any kind of rock, you're gonna enjoy this album. All right. Uh, first off, as opposed to any other super group like the Rock and Tours, uh, they're very balanced. They're very balanced. I personally like them a lot more than Rock and Tours. Just because oh, I don't like Jack White. That's one opinion. Uh, I do like them better, <laughs> but um, they they just have a uh, more creativity. Like I I feel that they each work off each other as opposed to Rock on Tours where Jack White is up here everyone and everyone else is down, down here, here, and while uh, them Crooked Vultures they're all up here, all of them together. They all can co collaborate together. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the actual case now. The artwork, you know, let's get into some physical. Yeah, things. let's talk about the artwork. See, uh, see here, the artwork is the actual. Uh, what's it called? The vulture. Yes. <laughs> oh damn. Hence yes. the name. The name the vulture. The vulture with the suit on and. Got some more other some other pictures picture. of them in the actual book, which is pretty cool. I actually really like the art. I, I, I really like pure red case. Everything with that. I really like the artwork too. Mm. I thought it was very nice. Bad uh, name was awesome too. Yeah, it's pretty I creative. Really, I, just, I love that name so much. It's very creative. I uh, I love the album artwork. He well, likes well, it too. Album packaging is good. It's very nice. Right, um, get into the the sound bones here. The actual sound of the the album. I thought it was uh, really nice. I really liked it. Really the nice it. psychedelic rock. Yeah. You know, uh, it, well, it was. It was got John Paul Jordan and Joshua Holmes. Joshua Holmes is from what? Uh, Queens of Stone Age. Queens of Stone Age, right? Uh, if so. if you love Queens of the Stone Age, you're gonna love this because they're it's the same singer, so they're they're really really similar, and uh, I liked uh, you know I really liked Dave Grohl drumming in it. I and thought it was weak. He didn't like it personally. I loved it, especially in um, what's that song called? Uh, Mine Eraser No Chaser, the that's, single. Yeah, I thought it was really good. Uh, Elephants and Bandoliers. I love the drumming. Bandoliers is the best song on that. I thought the drumming was really strong in it. Everything's really good, just I didn't like the drumming at some point. That's about it. Yeah. I thought it was Dave Grohl's a little weak. But yeah, otherwise. he has done better. He has seen better days, but I, overall yeah. I thought he did better. And I really want to talk about John Paul Jones here. Go ahead. John Paul Jones like was... Zeppelin, I don't... I love Zeppelin. And I think he did, I think he's really amazing in here. He's very creative. Like, he can do whatever he wants. It's so great. And, and Josh Holmes... Good vocalist. Uh, never really listened to thing. Uh, he had a really good voice. Even uh, even when he like did really fucked up shit, like in uh, Gunman and Spinning in Daffodils. Overall, yeah, it was the voice is really good. It works with everything. It did. The, the bass, John Paul Jones, obviously, everyone's gonna love it. And the guitar work was really yeah. good. Drum uh, was a little weak. I thought he didn't think that, but overall, it was good. Good yeah. super group, basically. Uh, one one little problem I have with the actual sound of the group is it's really repetitive. That sometimes. Yeah. That, that's what I found. Yeah, yeah. We were listening to it yesterday. Remember, there was a lot of or a couple days ago. Like, it was like a week ago or something. Yeah, you were showing me it. Uh, yeah, it, was, it, got, it got really repetitive. Like. Just on some songs, I didn't find it throughout the entire album. We'll play but, some clips and we'll show you a bit of it. Yeah. Besides, besides the repetition, I found this to be a very good album yeah. and definitely worth your buy. Uh, so, the track list. Um, yes, track list, yeah. I, I felt it was very diverse and I really liked this. Uh, I liked how it really got into the rock, but it also kind of shied away and did, uh, and did softer things. Uh, in... Um, Warsaw or the first breath you take after you give up. Like, yeah. Like that oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean now, yeah. But yeah. Ba like, I don't know why. I just always, the first song I always put in is Bandolese. I just, it's so catchy. It seems like a, kind of like a single. Is it a single of yours? Is that like uh, a no. Or? Their single was like Mine, a, a Race for No Chaser. It seemed to be like a single to me because I just kept always listening. Yeah, to that's uh, one problem I had with the track list. I think, uh, I really think, I like Mine, a Race for No Chaser, but it is, yeah, I it's think, good. uh, Bandoliers or Elephant should have been the single. Yeah. Then again, we are 
music reps. Exactly. All right. And let's so move on. Overall. overall. Overall impression. I really like this. What would you give them out of 10? Out of 10? I'd probably like give it a 9. I really, I really enjoyed this album. I think everyone should pick this up. What do you think? I I agree with you. I just wouldn't give them a 9. I'd probably give them an 8 or... Yeah, probably 8 or 8.5. Okay. No, 8. For me, it's 8. Give him a 9. Matt, a 9. Want to reconsider it? No. Okay. But if you should trust anyone, trust Matt because he knows music. But then it, it's all personal taste. It's if all you, personal choice. If, well. like, if you like any of the bands... Then you're gonna love them Crooked Vultures. You should pick it up. It's only fourteen ninety nine at HMV. It's worth your buy. Maybe different than anywhere else we don't know here in Canada. Yeah. But... Ten, twenty. All right. Most. Anyways, buy it. Def worth buying. We'll play some tracks. So. We'll play some tracks. Have a good one, everyone. Later. Loading TV signing off.